Hello, in this video I'm going to tell you how you can extract data directly from Oracle database to Celsius dashboard using a custom connection I have created using Flex. Uh, first of all, I'll show you two tables, two sample tables I've created on one of my Oracle databases I have here. Let's say I have a master table. If I can, if I want to see what kind of information I have into this table, I just write a scale statement. I will see that I have country ID, country name. I I will see also the details table. Test country sales. I have country ID, months and sales amount. Also, if I want to see the information into this table. So I can see for each country ID, what is for each month, what is the sales amount. So I will close the SQL plus, Oracle experts, they will know very well what is SQL plus. And I will get back to Celsius. Okay, so I will try to identify what kind of information I need to put into my dashboard. First of all, I will see main SQL here and I will write select star from test underscore country master. So this is will be my master SQL. Okay, so I will come to connections data manager and they will add direct oracle connection this you you will not have it unless you install the custom component or the custom connection here when i add direct oracle connection i will have the connection name i will add the web application which is holding some files related to this component i will add my web application once you add the web application, the component will validate if you already have the component installed correctly or not. If you have it installed, cor installed it correctly, you will have those three text fields enabled. I will add the database URL. This will have the server name of the database and it have the board number. Usually it's fixed. It's uh, 1521 and we have the database name after this i will add the username and the password and validate parameters when i click validate parameters i will get this button enabled i will attach or bind my sql statement to the one i've created here and also i have to bind the result data i have to take care of the result data it has to be matched the column width which is coming from the sql statement so I know that country master it has country ID I name. I will bind it to here. Let's say up to 50. And I will say into the usage I will refresh on load. So now I will add my first component. I will add list box. And I will attach the data or bind the data. For the first row will come, it will have the header of the columns. The second, I will start from the second row up to 50. And they will say insert value. I will select the source data, which is the ID. And let's say I will insert the destination when you select from the from the list box to here selected country i run into the reviewer you see now we have data coming directly from oracle database to my dashboard also you can add more than one component one connection Let's say, for example, I have details. I will name this to details. And they will say 
that I need another SQL statement to bring data from the sales table whenever you select a country. I will write a SQL statement, select star from country test underscore country underscore sales where country underscore ID equal to let's say we have to select a country I will just close the string and concatenate it to the current selected country from here and concatenate it again open string like this so whenever you select a country from here it will come to this SQL statement and you will have it here between the quotation okay I will add another connection okay I will name it details sales I will add the same for the web URL web application URL also for the database name and validate parameters I will bind this to my new SQL statement and I will buy it, bind the result to three columns I have the country ID I have the months and I have the sales and let's say up to this range okay for the usage I will not make it refresh on load but I will make it refresh on a cell change when the SQL change refresh it again when value change so now I have two connections one for the master information and another one for the detail set I know that this one is connected to C to E here I have to know very well where where I'm connecting my data as I told before the first row will show only the headers so I will add let's say a line chart this line chart will show me the sales I will move the title I will add the current title to the current selected country which is coming from the first query and I will add one series I will rename it to here I will bind the name to the name and the values from here up to here and category labels to here okay so now we are ready to run the dashboard it is a previewer so first of all I have nothing selected I'll just click Italy you see data scanning United Kingdom you see the other query is getting run far United Arab Emirates Cyprus and so on here we have this data not arranged so what what you can do to arrange those values for months you can just add one more order by months so I know very well the table structure of my database so if you can see now it's coming very well arranged the good thing also about this that you can also export it to the enterprise but you have to export it to the same enterprise business object enterprise which is holding the component or the custom connections file and let's say export to business object enterprise I will put my server my system say test dashboard custom oracle reset step once we, after we exported the dashboard to the enterprise now, now we can open the data how the data comes from the oracle database directly to the excelsior dashboard
Later on, I will record another video to show you how you can install the custom connection. Good luck. Thank you.